Hey, what's good? It's your boy, Mr. Wonka7. It is Saturday, 11.34 p.m. Not Saturday, Sunday, actually. Ordinarily, I don't do recording sessions this late at night anymore. Because now is no longer the time to record videos as late as I normally do. However, no one's in my apartment right now. And I'm speaking at a responsibly loud or I'm not speaking too loud or too quiet pretty sure the neighbors won't be knocking this door anytime soon Ordinarily, I don't use guides, actually. For this game? For this game, I just wing it. Fuck a guide, who needs a guide? But there is one part where I would like to use a guide just to get out of bullshit, and that's the parts where you're not going to a dungeon and fighting. Now, it would be nice if I could not have my tabs automatically collapse and crash every two seconds but I guess the world hates me but who cares cuz me against the world I always win so is this the part I'm supposed to be in Well, first and foremost, I should go to Elfheim. Yeah, this is going to be one of those shitty recording sessions. You won't see a lot of fun battles in this video. Like in the previous three videos. Not that it matters, since I can play this game to my favor I noticed in recording sessions though frame rate for the emulation is really shitty like when butts is walking it looks stupid So can you change the order around so that there's a different lead character? I wonder. Oh, shit. I forgot about that. So I can have fairy... I should have called fairy and lock, actually. Hopefully this version of the game has a naming way. Somehow I doubt it. That way it would have been four, five, six, and nine. Which is how a lot of puritanical old school Final Fantasy fans like to remember the series by. <sighs> Exhibit A. Astos is still in a coma. Yeah, just defeating the Dark Elf isn't going to wake his ass up. This game isn't going to use that kind of trope. We got to do a little more questing. But in the meantime, I want to cop some things. Since I definitely have the money now. And I want to use that money to my advantage. This is a heavy duty magic shop. Anything here that's nice? I'm sure Null Frost will eventually be useful, but. 
not too useful actually. Is this the black mead shop I want? So he has this, right? He has this and he has Glendora. Hopefully I didn't overdo it to the point where now I have to s No, I didn't overdo it. That's good. Where is that utter black magic shop? This isn't the way I normally speak, so I hope you can understand me very well. This arrogantly deep voice that doesn't even sound genuine. Alright, um, it says it's available for red mages, however his magic level is a bit too low, so we might have to come back when he's leveled up. And if that's what it takes to get him good, I'll go that distance. Boy, do I hate freaking poison spamming. I have nothing to fear with these guys, though. If only I had an Asuna spell. As a matter of fact, is that even available right now? Or at least a couple of antidotes. I shouldn't be backtracking. I should know better about Final Fantasy games. They like to play against your irrational instincts. It's better to move forward than to move back. Still nothing to deal with the annoying sound effects that we'll be dealing with for a while. Well, no insidious poison sound effects uh, butter my shit right now. Okay, so where's Cornelia? Cornelia is over there. I should say Cornelia, but just fuck me up. I assume the reason you don't lose damage or take damage when you're on a ship is because they're rested somewhere in the cabin. Okay, is there an item shop around here? I always thought the dancer girls in this version of the game look really good. More for road ahead, I guess. Good thing is the inns are really cheap here, so I don't got to worry about much. I don't need to resurrect anyone. Interestingly enough, you save your in the NES version. You save your game with the inns, not the churches, like in Dragon Quest. So think about that. Just I get it. Like even Grandia does that, but still. Seems so outdated.
Hopefully I didn't get freaking the red mage spent when it comes to level 1 magic. Or any magic. Nope. I wonder if they have a Suna here. That'll certainly come through nicely for the road ahead. No, but there is Protect, which definitely will come in handy. In case we need to fortify the defense of any of our party members. Okay, East. Did I do it correctly? I have no clue. Again, this is the other thing I don't like besides the fact that the menu has its own theme. Well, map, map navigation, not really good at it with this one. I mean, they do simplify it in a way, but still. I'm just whack. It's not like it's gonna make me lose anytime soon. It's just incredibly inefficient if you wanna do a let's play type thing. Like, I'm not gonna have a panic attack just because of the map. Although, one time when I was playing Final Fantasy IX, I did end up, uh, Thinking maybe I should take a break because I wasn't performing well going around the world map. I'd rather take a annoyingly cumbersome world map than no world map like Final Fantasies 9 and 13. I'm actually surprised that there are plenty of video games that still have a world map. Such as the Tales series. If I would have known that sooner, I would have kept playing Tales games since that is a feature I look at fondly. As you can see, I could have gone about using the ship a lot better. So anyway, remember when we pried that eye out of Astos in the last episode? This is the reason. Okay, B button select, switch, switch, roo. Again, that's how you bring up the world map. Also, there is a trick when you're on a ship to play a puzzle mini game and get hidden items for free. You gotta press a certain, hold a certain button down and press another button down like 50 something times to do it. And you get like a jigsaw puzzle. But I don't really like jigsaw puzzles anyway, so. So this bitch is talking about how her eye is missing and shit. So we receive a Jolt Tonic. I'm not going to bother with those chests. Something is fishy about them. Or not, maybe. I mean, this is probably one of those guys that 
will not tell will tell you not it won't tell you to get the chests which means you shouldn't cuz you'll get like a penalty or something Okay, Elven Castle. Hmm. Well, all right. Let me check something out. The rest I can do this without the guide. So yeah. I was able to do this with my like one plate to run last year without the use of a guide. But my memory can get the best of me. Alright. <laughs> yeah. I should be fleeing from a lot of these battles since I'm not going to get much out of them. But sometimes fleeing is even more inefficient. So yeah, just be a destroyer of worlds right now. It's so much better. Alright, and... So how to get to freaking Elf Melvin Castle. That's over there, so let's just go south for a while. The map system is not as bad as I thought it once was. This was probably the case of me just not having good spatial reasoning and it getting better over time placement could have been a little more symmetrical alright tell them to drink this Will he wake up? At least we've saved two people in this quest. That whack-ass princess and this prince. It'd be nice if we could save some commoner yolk or volk. But we do kind of have to save royalty right now to prove ourselves as warriors of light. Yeah, I gotta be careful with how you explore this map. You might end up leaving, but 
It's of no consequence. So yeah, we're getting mithril items now. That's kind of cool. I assume because I can talk to him. So that's how we're supposed to know of where to find Matoya. With that information, we can know that at the very least she exists within the canon of this universe. Now as for the Mithril Hammer. Oh wow, it's actually... You would think that something made out of fictional material would be stronger, especially since Final Fantasy II really likes to blow up the value of Mithril. You can't take that empire down without Mithril. It's like Sword Geeks with Damascus. Alright, now where do I go? Yep, enjoy the spoils of your victories. Actually, I bet these guys will level up sometime during this recording session. That's good news. Okay, Elven Castle. Hmm. Oh, we also got some good-ass gloves from that. So there's, uh... I might end up in a Skype call in a few, if my info is correct. Let's see, Marsh Cave, Overworld. Let's see, Keep, Chaos Shrine. Yeah, there's only three places to go, and then this recording session can get wrapped up. This game is way better than Live Alive. I don't mean to compare two different things, but still. I actually want to play this game. Live Alive got me bummed out for a while. And look what happened. I got the level up. Maybe by the time I'm done with this... Freaking Cecil will have enough magic level to actually get haste. Which will effectively break most of the main game. It will be the end of the world as we know it, and in a good way. Because we'll thrash everything. Let me check what's going on in Skype. Seeing as I got that notification. Oh, that's a cute logo. Potential.
Okay, so some guy dropped a URL in two calls. That's all that happened. That's kind of good because I've been getting into a lot of Skype calls lately and it's fun. But I'm also doing a lot of things on the side like Let's Plays and... Falcon. This would probably be the most efficient way of going about it. Oh shit, you know what I should do? I should have freaking VV use magic. That's one problem I have as a Let's Player. I don't use magic nearly as often as I should. I'm way too judicious with it. Like, uh, Dragon Quest Five and Romantic Saga 3, just no magic. Burn everything in sight. So what that unit chick says in the city of O12, duo decim, decim. Hmm. Yeah, burn this motherfucker alive. That probably wasn't the wisest strategy or the most cost effective one. That said, We've been here thrice now. I think I can say that we should just get moving on with this. Again, they will bully you into submission with paralysis. Good thing they're going after the tank, and only the tank. This reminds me of Wild Arms. How annoying getting healed for status ailment is if you don't stock up on the right items. Yeah, I've been playing a lot of Wild Arms. I'm not going to keep you guys updated on that. But, yo, it's I love that game. It's really good. And yes, I only play JRPGs. Before anyone asks. I used to play a lot of fighters and those action ventures slash platformers. But that's about it. Sticking to the genre I like most. Oh, Pisco Demons. Alright. Temper to him. Damn, even on the tank. When a crit happens, she... Well, wow, Thundara just makes them bitch. Alright, get that. That was good money. Alright, 
just keep everyone decent in terms of hit points. To each of his own merit, Kami style. To each according to his needs, actually. Anacondas. I like. I just like anacondas as snakes. Their names. And just. Their height. I like fighting the rare enemies around here in general. Burn them into nothingness. You know H.C. Bailey is bored after playing all these Final Fantasies when he considers just playing this one. Like Dawn, just the dungeons for Dawn of Souls. Not even the full game, just the bonus dungeons. I'm glad he's out of hiatus though. A lot of dudes were in hiatus while I was in Pennsylvania. It made the experience a little more boring than it needed to be. Damn, now everyone's real good. Okay, two Pisco Demons. We ain't got shit to worry about. Except for the fact that they hit like trucks. Damn. How do I get out of here? Flee, flee, flee. Okay, how much until next level? So really, we could fight some of those pesco demons twice and we'll level up. Which I wouldn't pass up that opportunity, if not for the fact that I would rather be doing something else to level up. You know, when you defeat enemies, leveling up is pretty much inevitable unless you maxed out. Oh wow, blood bones got a lot on them. Not enough to Oh, that's why. Get out of my way. Flee, 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 flee. Just get out of my face.
shit is whack. Come on, clap them all. Let me actually go this way as well. Because I'm pretty sure there's more treasures than just what I got. Blue ones were the good ones, right? In terms of me not needing magic or crits to deal damage on them. What am I doing? Come on, body them all. All right. When I'm always silent, I, I end up saying "all right" to break the silence, but nah. I'm getting a little into this shit. That's why I'm a little quiet. It'd be nice if the EXP ceiling was a little lower so that I can gain a level up, but it'd be better if the enemy just gave better EXP. Did I get everything I needed to get here? Okay, silver armlet. That's for evasion. Oh, no, no. Lowers his evasion but a little bit, but one more in defense. Whatever, I'm sure someone else could use letter gloves. Gotta say, the equipment system is a little bit much. Hmm. Settle raises. Put this shit on. Got a freaking squishy ass character for no reason. No reason this guy should be as squishy as he is right now. Wait, hold on. Broadsword. Can you get a broadsword? Nope. Well, that sucks. Oh, I did get all the treasure here. So all this exploration I'm doing right now is completely needless.
Let's just get out of here, boy. If I wanted to, this Let's Play would actually be shorter than Live Alive. But it won't be shorter than Mega Man X, though. X2, that is. Might want to play Mega Man Zero 3. Get out of my way. Alright. Everyone's good? Good. Everyone's good and well. I'm well right now. I was sick earlier this morning because I had two bowls of ramen. And that's just what happens to me when I have food like that. I had two bowls of ramen and some uh, mango Arizona. No, that wasn't a frame drop, I just, I don't know what I was about to say, like, Arizona, like, almond, I think I was about to say almond, but I never had almond juice, that's a lie, I've had almond juice before, oh wow, the sound is really glitching out right now, Hopefully my startup disk isn't getting its ass beat. Just in case, I might need to save. I hope that my save file doesn't get corrupted. Well, everyone is marginally more powerful. So am I going to flip this to uh, turn super power? Yeah, the frame rate is taking an ass beating. The fucking Farian is taking a bigger ass beating. Butts was the one who couldn't land the finishing blow. Falcon. Okay, so Falcon is like a rapier. I know who to give that to. Here you go. Have fun. Power staff, steel gloves, I wonder. So I got special fights if I go here too. Although these guys don't scare me. Oh, that? That's nightmare fuel right there. That's nice. And lastly, I want to see these guys. Ah, oh, just more mummies, I guess. So.
So is that all I can extrapolate from this area? Yeah. I guess there's only one more place to get three treasures in. Yeah, it's three treasures everywhere. Except the Elfheim Castle. Elven Castle, whatever. No, it's Elv Elfheim. Okay, letter gloves. Steel gloves. Alright. You whack. Oh, you too? Power staff. Lose a little in terms of accuracy. Gain a little in terms of attack. You know, I would rather have the accuracy with this dude. If it affects magic, that is. If not, then I don't really care. Cause I don't give a fuck anyway. <laughs> That's my interpretation of Jim Jones. Not the cult leader. The guy from Bird Gang and Dipset. You know, the we fly high, no lie, we balling guy. Damn, they got some interesting weapons. No lie, both this game and Final Fantasy VII give me the same vibe with the environments and the enemies. And just the tone in general. Battle team isn't as good though. Just wipe them all out. VV, don't be slow about it. Get me out this bitch. Make it stop. Good job. That was just a few steps. And this is an ambush. It's too bad the ogre's gonna die. <laughs> and at the hands of Vivi nonetheless. Gigas worms. All right, hopefully. Wow, we're slow. I wonder if the encounter rate's higher because we're near the grass. Could that be it? How is that an upgrade? As a crowd control spell. The original sleep was crowd control, so this is like a complete. Maybe the rate is higher, but. Unless I'm going after someone I shouldn't be going after in my level. Like some type of Xenoblade Chronicle shit. I, I won't try that. Oh, I forgot. The only reason I'm here is to use it in. Actually, not. Actually not. There's actually another reason why I'm here. It's 
Sleepra, Haste, Confuse. Confuse might be good, but let's see if Haste can finally... Alright, you can finally use Haste. So my boy Cecil is moving on up. Fuse would be a very effective crowd control move because at that point they'll attack each other. And you've seen in my playthrough of Romantic Saga, when my characters turn Ed, it's over. I don't like the resting theme in this one. I played Romancing Saga just a couple of hours ago and the resting theme there is so good. I mean this do 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 She is whack. I'm out, I'm out, I'm out, get out. Alright, I think I'm progressing on out of here. Damn. Two crits. All right. Alright, surprised I didn't have that, but we only have one treasure left to get and then we'll be home free. It's been about an hour since I started recording. Almost done with this sheet. 
hopefully just get out of here. I don't even know why goblins are starting shit with us. I like it in Xenoblade Chronicles where the enemies won't try to mess with you if you're too overleveled. And to a game with closer mechanics than this, Dragon Quest also does this. Although it would suck if you're trying to farm for items. Out, out, out. Just get out. And we're fighting these enemies again. You wouldn't expect to fight them in the first dungeon of the game, but yeah. Things will get better once we get into more dungeons instead of cycling back and forth between the two. Werebuster. I don't know what he unequipped. I think it was an X type weapon. Whatever. Gold needle. And let's fight these idiots again. Let's this time let's let's test out the Werebuster. Damn. And I don't think that was a crit crit. That one had extra hits uh so yeah, we're starting to get more hits, on more damage multipliers, which is really where the difference comes in damage in this game, and Final Fantasy IV. Not necessarily the attack stat, but the damage multiplier. I mean, being able to dish times three just normally or times four that's so good and I just beat three gargoyles what makes you think I'm gonna lose to two oh shit I forgot to actually get the treasure That's how overly confident I became. Alright, I'm gonna... This time we get three, which is... A little more up my alley. But it means nothing if they just target butts. Who's the meat... Sh meat grinder. I was about to say meat shield, but... That's not relevant here. Okay. Room blade is pretty much equal. So who should get it?
I would say that's more of Cecil's style, but you know what? He can have it. They're pretty much equal in every other respect. And Cecil has more roles than just attacking right now. If it wasn't for the updated mechanics, there'd be no point in having a thief. Either get yourself another red mage or get yourself a freaking black mage. I mean, a warrior. Or monk, for that matter. But I don't like monks anyway. So I think that settles it for this episode. It's been your boy Mr. Walker 7. Hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see I make day.